good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new episode of WWE Action Figure Appointment coming at you. As you guys can see today, we have a ton of Bray Wyatt figures, right? We got the Elite 54 Fiend fix-up Bray Wyatt that's much better than the Elite 54, and it's better than the Fiend, to be honest with you. I, I freaking love this figure over here. We have the Ultimate Edition Fiend right here. Then we have the Ringside Exclusive Bray Wyatt over here. Today, uh, don't forget about our Ultimate, our Ultimate Edition over here, okay? I got a story time about that ish. So yesterday, my boy John hits me up. You guys know John. He's been on the toy hunts before. Me and him are always scouring the area, letting each other know about the figures in the area. New AEW, new Royal Rumble sets, new Elite sets hitting the local area. So you guys know I went on a toy hunt, what, two, three days ago? Didn't find Jack Shish. 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 Didn't find Jack Shish. Then he goes yesterday, finds Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Edition Fiend, the new motorcycle I think was there. May not have been. Elite 80 hits Walmart. I mean, dude, what is this? What is the timing? Nonetheless, I got him to pick up me an extra Fiend because I have an idea, guys. We're today going to make an Ultimate Edition Bray Wyatt. We're going to take this Fiend and make him into Bray Wyatt. So the new Bray Wyatt that we make here today is going to be Ultimate Edition. He's going to have the Ultimate Edition torso, the double jointed arms, the interchangeable jacket ability, he'll have the nice pant legs, he'll have the nice boot cover boots, we'll see about that, I kind of like the purple ones, but I, I may put these feet on there, just to just to do it, I think it looked pretty badass, we'll see about it Brad, we'll get through it, I wanted to do something extra today, but not only that, we will also be doing something different, what else are we going to do, I don't remember what we're doing Brad, just, just, let's just, let's just, just move on, nonetheless guys, we got to get through all of it, so let's go ahead and dive into it here. So what I'm going to do is going to unpack this Ultimate Edition Fiend and then we're going to get into our Ultimate Edition Bray Wyatt and how you guys can do it yourselves and break down all the parts and ish. So let's shut the hell up and dive into our Ultimate Edition Bray Wyatt. Alright guys, so here's our basis for what we're going to be doing here today. So what we got to do first, we don't have to heat up the Fiend head sculpt, right? That's not something we have to do because Ultimate Editions are interchangeable. So all we have to do is just plop this off like so and all we have to do now is we have to heat up the legs of these two and the head sculpt of the Bray Wyatt which sucks that I have to heat up two separate things there but I'm also trying to figure out if I want to put these feet on there or these feet because I really like the purple but I feel like the black and red ties into Bray Wyatt better it ties into the attire more and everything like that and it's cool because we'll actually have the praying hands on the torso so that'll be pretty cool as well but I guess what we could start off with is the legs and then we can heat up the head sculpt later because we got to pull these legs up pull those legs off and then we have to paint this and and then plop the legs back on there so maybe that's when we can switch the head sculpts and stuff so what we have to do first is of course switch out the legs and then we will get into the rest so white trusty hair dryer is ready to go we're going to plop off his hat as well don't want to ruin the hat there and it's going to be really sick about the Bray Wyatt is that the jacket and arms will be interchangeable so we can put a trench coat on our Bray Wyatt and I may have to put Mod Podge on the ball pegs of the Ultimate Edition we'll have to see about that but uh, this is what we're going to start off with guys and then we will go from there I've ruined the illusion now everything F. Alright guys, here we go. Let's see if we can pop these legs off right quick. And oh my god, it's a little hot, but I'm alright. Alright, I don't know if I can get the right leg off, but you guys can see it's super loosey-goosey, which is not what you want. Ugh. All right, there we go. And it's got some of that dried Mod Podge on there, which isn't ideal, but it's not a huge deal. So the Ultimate Edition legs do come off relatively easy. And you guys can just see here, this is the big deal right here. Like, look how much shorter these legs are compared to what they should be. And I think that's really what makes the, uh, you know, the Ultimate Edition Bray Wyatt really underwhelming as, as far as I'm concerned. So I don't know. We'll have to see about that, but... I'm not going to plot. I don't think I should plot this on here now because I still have to paint it, right? I mean, that wouldn't even make sense. And yeah, you guys can see. Look how lobby dobby that is, but we will fix that. That's why we're going to put Mod Podge on there. So we will do that. And while I paint, I'll add some Mod Podge here. That way it can dry, build some up. That way when we put those legs back on, it will be super, not super stiff, but you know, it'll be stiff enough to, you know, fake. You get the idea.
All right, guys, we got it taken care of. I got the Mod Podge on the ball joints right there. We got the crotch painted in black. I sealed that up as well. Literally, all we have to do now is heat up these legs. I don't know how tight the legs will be at the end of this. I may have to go back and reiterate it, you know, touch it up a little bit, but I'm still struggling on what feet I want to use. I don't even know if the Ultimate Edition feet will just go on there. I feel like they will, but who, who the hell knows, you know? I, I'm not entirely sure about that, but we do have to heat up these legs as well as this Bray Wyatt head sculpt to stick it onto this Ultimate Edition body. So that is what we're going to do right now. We're going to see what that's all about. Hopefully this will not, uh, you know, it won't ruin anything or, you know, have any mishaps happen there. But there's that. And I guess we'll see what it looks like. We'll put it all together and then we will, um, you know, switch out the jacket. See what the jacket looks like on the Bray Wyatt. And then we can also possibly switch out the feet. We'll have to see about that. But let's just shut the hell up and get into it. I don't know how long the damn thing hasn't even been on the thing, man. Jesus. You know what? F it. Let's just give it a go anyway. I don't know how long that wasn't on the figure. All right, we got the head sculpt off. I'm going to go ahead and plop this onto the Ultimate Edition body right here. It's kind of difficult. All right. Um, I don't know, man. It kind of looks like it's too low. Jesus Christ. Probably should have tested this first, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's not going on there. God in heaven. All right, guys, let's see if this is good enough now. Stupid pieces of sheesh. Or should I say shish? All right, there's the one leg. It still may be a little bit loosey-goosey. You know, you won't know until it fully dries. All right, so let's go ahead and stand this up so you guys can look at this because I'm really not feeling it as much as I thought I would. I feel like the, the necks or the head sits a little too low, to be honest with you. But I don't know. It may look exactly how it did, except it's Ultimate Edition now. But, dude, I don't know. I feel like it sits a little too low. I may have to go in uh, later on, plop this head sculpt off, put a little piece of paper down in there. That way the head will sit just a tad higher. I think that would make the figure look better. But as far as the feet are concerned, I don't know either. I feel like these would look better but i like the purple too because it kind of breaks up all of that color in there damn i don't know brad let's go ahead and like pop this off though because i want to see what this looks like plop this off plop the second arm off and then plop the vest on here or the jacket it's not a vest well i guess technically if you have a jacket and you cut your arms off it becomes a vest shout out mitch hedberg all right there's that and then we take the ultimate edition jacket arms plop that in there Flip it, go over here, plop that in there, and then voila bushka. What in the hell are we working with, Brad? You got a little something special going on there, young man. And there you go. That's what that would look like right there. What do you guys think? Let me back the damn camera up. I got a new tripod, and it's giving me fitsies. I still like it better than my old one, but I got to get used to it is the thing. I don't know. It's low-key looking kind of fire. So there you go. You got Bray Wyatt. You got the Fiend, who's much shorter than him now. And then you have the other Bray Wyatt that's shorter than him, too. So inconsistencies all across the board. But there pretty much is your Ultimate Edition Bray Wyatt. I don't know. I'll, I, you guys can let me know what you think about the head sculpt. I feel like it needs to sit a little bit taller. I really like the way the Fiend came out. I, I like the way the Fiend looks, especially with that axe in the hand. Looks pretty badass, not gonna lie to you. I may switch out the boots. We'll see about that as well. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout out for the day. And this shout out is gonna go to the Fresh Edits, who says, Me when I see these figures. <gasps> my wallet. You crossed the line. That's good stuff right there, Brad. You love to see that. I think that's hilarious. Because you guys know, you know, you, you, you want to buy a figure, you see it, it looks immaculate, it looks amazing, and then you gotta pay for all the new figures, and it's like, Christ on a bicycle, Brad, I just had money. Where the hell did it go? And then you look on the shelf. But shout out to Fresh Edits for that comment, guys. Really appreciate all the comments. If you guys want to shout out in a future video, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell for notifications. Let me know what you think of the Ultimate edition Bray Wyatt right here. He will be much easier to pose in the pick fed and stuff. He'll give us a little bit more, you know, stuff going on. He's got the prayer hands. He's got everything. He kind of looks like he's morphing into the fiend. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't cross the line. Ever. I mean, dude, how many times do I have to tell you? You cross the line.